boundaries in a relationship in a positive and healthy way and feel heard? How do you set boundaries in a relationship in a positive, healthy way and feel heard? Great question, Alpha G. Thank you for asking. Um, it's, a, it's a good question. Um, how do you set boundaries in a relationship? I think part of that is just great communication. Um, I think part of that is uh, sitting down with your partner and understanding that you know there's going to be things in your relationship that um, you know you enjoy doing and things you don't. There's going to be things in the relationship that you're happy to go along with, and there's things that you're not. But you've got to have a conversation around where those boundaries are. And I think also understand that those boundaries are going to shift and change with people because people are always shifting and changing. So I think great quality conversations, great communication, I think is the cornerstone of a great relationship. And obviously the, the boundaries then fall in as part of that as well. Um, my, I mean, my natural response is to consider why you need to have boundaries. You know, I think about our relationship and I don't really think that there are boundaries in our relationship. Obviously, I think that there are there's certain levels of, of respect that we would both ensure. And so I guess there is some boundaries in terms of what we will and won't tolerate with one another, but it's not um, it's not really something that we go, well, look, I'm okay with this, I'm not okay with that. So I don't really know the context of the question, but I would say great communication is a great starting point. What was the second part of the question? So setting the boundaries in a positive and healthy way yeah. and feeling heard. Okay. Um, well, I think feeling heard is, is, again, comes back to that same point, which is about great communication. And I think it's important to understand that everyone communicates differently. Henry Debord Thoreau once said it so beautifully when he said that the biggest myth in communication is the illusion it's actually taking place. So in order for you to feel heard, if you're listening to this, it's, in, it's vital that not only you express your own truth, but also that you express that truth in a way that connects with the other person and allows them to feel heard. And it's important, uh, Alpha, to get this real clear. Just because you communicated at something and they understand it doesn't mean they have to agree with you. So if you think that you need to feel heard by as in what most people say is when I feel heard, it's not actually that I fail heard, that rather my partner agrees with me. They're not the same thing. I can agree with Ash. I can, no, I can, I can hear Ash and disagree with her. I still heard her. I still understand her point. I just don't have to say yes to that. So that's very important to understand that you're actually not looking for compliance. You're looking for love and trust and respect and tolerance. So how does that sort of fit in? I would say one, communication, and then number two, I would reiterate that point in communication and, and understanding that the, the myth in communication, it's the illusion it's taking place, and also that if you're trying to put a message across and it's not getting across, that's on you to change the message. You know, we say in our seminars that the meaning of the communication is the response it elicits. So if I'm communicating in a message of love and I'm getting a message of frustration back, well, I need to change how I'm communicating as part of that. Um, and making sure you've got an accurate dialogue, a continual dialogue, because you might communicate the status quo now and that might shift for you. So you've got to be open and honest and having those conversations. And a little tactic that we use is three levels of conversation. Level one, two, and three. Level one conversation is casual chit chat. Level two conversations are serious, but level three is like, hey, I'm breaking up with you. I'm leaving you. I'm pregnant. Uh, you know, uh, uh, let's get married. You know, conversations. They're high level. So frame to your partner, hey, these are the three different conversations that we can have so that you can have the harder conversations because the hardest part of having hard conversations is bringing it up. So hopefully that helps. Hey.